Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually decrease input lag and actually improve FPS within Fortnite Chapter 2 after the new version 11.50 update, which was a whole change of engine and there was a few issues with people actually experiencing FPS drops and having a little bit more input lag and delay within their game. So all in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a method in which will actually stop that, reduce the input lag, improve your FPS and performance overall, which will then obviously stop the FPS drop drops this method is extremely effective so make sure you guys do watch to the end of the video therefore you do not miss out on anything if you guys do go ahead to enjoy the video you know what to do drop a like all of that good stuff it literally takes two seconds of your time and helps up me way more than you guys think it's kind of the least you guys can do for me bringing this out to you guys remember you can subscribe with post notifications turned on therefore you are notified and never miss an upload just like this i try and keep you guys updated with everything such as fps boost fortnite news and any other content i'll be uploading to my youtube channel again i am on my daily upload right now so you guys can expect a ton of juicy content from me and with that all being said let's just get straight into the video Before this video starts, I do want to point out that this method was actually founded by a guy called Detty O. You guys probably will know him from Twitter. He's a very big FPS boost and PC tweaker. He does a lot of things revolving around just Fortnite in general and just FPS boosts. He's like the guy you go to for the best tweaks to your PC to actually enhance your frames. He usually sells them online and does offer them to many pros. He recently kind of released this method and kind of leaked it a little bit on his Twitter and that is the method I'm showing you guys in this video. He found this himself after the new engine was released. I'm kind of just bringing it out to you guys and broadening it amongst my audience code life also made a video about this so before you guys all comment down below credit goes to code life i don't want to see any comments saying that i copied code life in any way me and code life are actually on good terms i i could say maybe friends we spoke before and there's no bad blood between us youtube is literally just a big game and loads of people magpie of ideas i can't lie he did give me the idea to actually make a video on this but sooner or later another creator would have made a video before him if he wanted to do it or even i would have so he was just the first to get his hands on this and actually release the video. I'm just kind of bringing it out to you guys because I know all of you want to watch Code Life's video. Just thought I'd tell you guys that. So we are actually just going to get straight into this and keep this video as short as possible. So what we are going to be doing is tweaking something within Windows and changing a few things within basically the game files. A very slight little bit which is going to have a huge improvement to your game. So what you guys are going to want to do is go over to your desktop. As you guys can see right here, I'm on my desktop. I do have my Epic Games Launcher open. One thing you will need to do is actually close out of your Epic Games Launcher. And as you guys can see, I actually did close it out on my display tray. You guys will need to do this. Just go into the display tray in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and make sure you are fully exited out of it. Or maybe even go into your task manager and close out of the Epic Games launcher there and close anything Fortnite related. Obviously, you will also need your game for the close for this all to work. Once you guys have done that, the second step will just be to press the Windows and R shortcut on your keyboard. You can just click on your taskbar and search in run. Here you will have to search in percent local app data percent like this. And then just press OK. Now you guys will be in the local folder within app data. So ensure you guys are within the right place. Here you should be able to find a folder which is called Fortnite Game. This is very similar to if you guys ever change your resolution or try to use the stretch resolution within the game and have changed it in that way you guys are probably all familiar with the screen once you find the fortnite game folder you just want to right click it and actually just rename the folder i know it sounds kind of weird guys just trust me on this you want to rename the folder to anything but fortnite game so right now it will be called fortnite game you want to rename it and just put anything but fortnite game you can literally put fortnite game and then put the word renegade raider at the end you could literally do anything you could put the word fortnite game apple but i'm going to change mine to fortnite game one you, you can literally just add a number to the end and that will just change the name the whole point is just to change the name of the folder doesn't really matter what you guys call it just rename the folder and then press ok and it literally is that simple guys you can now cross out of your file explorer and just open up your epic games launcher and then just simply run fortnite what happens when you actually rename that folder it actually resets the fortnite cache folder which is literally located within there and all of the cache which is on the game basically just gets restored or reset so you all you're doing is initially resetting the fortnite cache and over time the fortnite cache builds up and especially when you do updates and with this whole new engine there's going to be a lot in the cache which does cause things such as fps drops and the more that is in the fortnite game cache can actually also give you a little bit of input lag it can be sometimes unnoticeable but it is there 
it is always great to reset this every now and then and to keep updated on resetting this cache and this is one way to do it by just renaming the folder so now you've renamed the folder that is literally done the cache has been reset if you guys want to be all fully uncertain of that you guys can actually restart your pc afterwards it should be fine and you should just be able to boot up fortnite after that when you do actually boot up your game don't worry because it will actually launch as if you've never opened fortnite before it isn't an issue whatsoever your keybinds are not going to reset the only thing that will reset is your quality settings if you do use a stretch resolution it will put you onto native when you first open the game you may have to redo your stretch resolution and put it back on but for me when i actually open my game my stretch resolutions were still there which is fine for some it may be different but just don't quote me on that i'm not 100 sure it's different for everyone so just be cautious about that but again your keybinds will reset just your quality settings so everything may be on high when you do load up the game so just make sure you do lower it all and just optimize your game again in that sense so basically just put all your settings on low so you are getting the best fps and now the cache is reset you can literally just go into a creative game load into any sort of game and you will notice that your fps has increased massively and if you were getting fps drops you can obviously play the game for a few hours and you will notice that you will no longer get the fps drops and everything should feel a little bit more responsive it may just be me but i've had a few friends who have done this and have told me it works so you know look in the comments down below i'm sure people will be vouching for this if it did work for you just do me a favor comment down below and let me know if it worked which will also then help other people to come to this video later down the line before they can actually conclude if they want to go ahead and do this again it has no defect to a game at all so it doesn't hurt to just try it out co life literally did the same thing in his video and detio actually recommended this so we all know it is in safe hands and is trusted there's literally no damage to be done so it's worth the shot and even if you aren't getting the fps drops it will help improve the fps regardless it's always great to reset the cache and yeah guys that is about it for this video there's not much more i need to go over again if this did help leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about this and also tell me how much has improved your fps if it did at all i'm actually really intrigued you know i do like and reply to every single comment and it also heart every comment so try me on that and if you did get to the end of the video i'm surely doing my job right so the least you guys can do you know drop a like for me like it's really appreciated Remember, you can subscribe with post notifications on if you did enjoy the video. You know, you can always unsubscribe if you don't go ahead to like my content later down the line. So, you know, just give me a chance, drop a subscription. If you begin not to like my content, you can always just unsubscribe because it is an option. And yeah, with that all being said, that is literally it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and this did actually help you guys. Again, Debt.io, Code Life, all linked in the description. Also, before this video ends, I also just want to know that I do have a Twitter. I do post on so much. So if you are loyal, I'd really appreciate if you guys could just go over and follow my Twitter. I post so much on here. And it'd be nice just to have a little noty gang and a little active squad that do just like all my tweets and support me there. It's the easiest way to get in contact with me. I will just sort of chill with you guys and reply to you and just speak to you in DMs over on my Twitter. So the link is in the description. You guys can follow me there. Just thought I'd plug that. But yeah, guys, it's been your boy Farfetch. And yeah, peace.